let's continue with the auto scaling uh, demo section so in this section we are going to uh, configure the auto scaling group uh, with the load balancer so let's start so this the auto scaling configuration uh, the console port uh, you can go from the ec2 console and in ec2 console you can go auto scaling group from here so this is the brand new console page you can see this is a new experience page uh, if you want to go for the older page you can simply disable this one and uh, before configure auto scaling let's go for the uh, load balancer configuration here so i'm just moving to the load balancer so let's create the load balancer here i'm taking the alb example here so i'm just simply add adding my alb uh, it's internet facing so moving bit uh, faster for the load balancer configuration selecting the default security group taking the default one so here we are giving the target group okay let's register target here and in a target we are not attaching any instance as of now okay so my load balancer has been created if you see here the load balancer is created and the target group is also created here okay so there is no target register in the target group as we didn't add any instance over here okay now we are moving to the alb uh, sorry uh, asg so in asg uh, we will create the new auto scaling group from here okay so to auto scaling group we have to create the launch template or launch configuration so launch template is the newer version of the launch configuration so still the launch configuration is supported uh, ASG here but we will take the newer version of the launch configuration which is the launch template so here I am just creating the my first ASG so auto scaling group and from here we can create the launch template you can simply click here and this will redirect to the con uh, creation of the launch template so here we will add the my launch template so you can add the description here so my first launch template so you can choose your AMI so we are taking the Amazon Linux 2 we have to take the instance type so I'm taking the T2 macro key pair so this is almost same which we are using the for the manual uh, VPC we are taking the uh, default one and we are adding the here the security group for the uh, access of our instance uh, attached with this uh, auto scaling group so the default security group we are attaching here and uh, the storage part resource tag and network we are taking the default one in a advanced section we are moving down and here we are taking the user data so user data will take the uh, standard script of the configuration of the apache server so i'm just taking the same code here and i'm adding this code for the configuring the apache server so now i'm creating the new launch template here okay so my launch template has been created here let's move back so here i'm refreshing this uh, launch template portion and we'll get our new complete uh, created the launch template okay so here we choosing this uh, launch template and post this we just select the next one uh, so there are two configuration which is the basically on demand uh, instance choose and here the com combination of the on demand uh, with the spot instance uh, so you can choose based on your requirement with the uh, uh, instance category so here you can take from the on demand so here we are taking with the uh, default one uh, vpc we are taking the default one and subnet we are taking uh, which we have used for the uh, load balancer so next one so here we are enabling the load balancer 
so we have to choose the load balancer here so this is my target group I have choose and the next one is the health check option so health check basically two option is there so we, you can directly choose the EC2 here but once we have chosen uh, load balancer we have to take the ELB so it will check the health check of your elastic load balancer domain so this configuration has been done let's move to next so this is the uh, main configuration for the group size the scaling policy so how many desired capacity you want to make so right now the default one is one minimum capacity is one and maximum capacity is one so here we are adding the maximum capacity is three and desired capacity is one and minimum capacity is one so let's move here and right now we are not adding any policy so we just moving with the none so next notification we are skipping tag we are skipping so this is the review part you have chosen the launch configuration so network part so load balancer so we have chosen the target group and let's create the auto scaling group so our auto scaling group has been created here and this is my first ASG if you create click here it will, it will show you the detail configuration of your auto scaling group so this is the main details here you can see here so whatever you have given configuration all load balancer information has been created and now let's move for the activity portion and in activity it will show the uh, the pre in service so there's a launching new issue instance it will launching now there's a instance creating so here you can see increasing the capacity 0 to 1 so new instance has been created if you go here in your load balancer let's move for the load balancer sorry we have to move for the target target group and in target group we have to see the register targets so here the word register target has been created here this, this is the new instance has been created so it's making the initializing here here you can see the status here so this is activity successfully launched the instance here you can see here the new instance has been created let's move to this instance so this instance has been created in, in EC2 instance so you can see here so this is running state so right now it's a healthy so uh, it will automatically created the new instance here let's move to the uh, in auto scaling group uh, in details so we want to update so I want to update the desired capacity so I'm just making the desired capacity is 2 so uh, at a time my two instance should be running here so let's see what happening here so I'm moving to the my uh, activity here let's wait for a while so we got the new activity here so you can see here so now activity is increasing the capacity from 1 to 2 so minimum is 1 maximum is 3 now it's increasing to 1 to 2 because we have increased the desired capacity 2 let's move the target group here let's refresh this one okay so you can see the new instance has been created so it is in initialized state so it will make some time for the make a healthy so my both instance has been in healthy state you can see here let's replace the activity here so this got successful launch so now our capacity got increased to 1 to 2 let's make a updation again I want to make the desired capacities 1 so this will again the scale in 
so we added the instance it's a scale out and uh, we have decreased our instance so this is the scale and you can see the in progress the termination of the EC2 instance just because of we have chosen the 2 to 1 desired capacity you can see here the so capacity shrinkage is the 2 to 1 okay let's wait for the confirmation here it's changing the status here so I'll be status connecting the draining here okay let's move for the target group here let's see here what happened okay so now our instance got draining okay so here in between we have to use the ELB so let's take the uh, DNS name for the load balancer so here I'm taking the my DNS name and let's copy paste here just for accessing this one okay so we are getting the instance access from the uh, load balancer so this will basically uh, use our uh, target group and target group use for the our instance and we have make the uh, 2 to 1 the instance here so in auto scaling group let's move for the auto scaling group here so in auto scaling group we uh, basically configure the different parameters uh, like uh, the desired capacity minimum capacity and maximum capacity here and these are the different configuration here so uh, at a high level uh, you should remember the uh, what's configuration are important here so let's have the very quick uh, recap for the ESC configuration so I'm simply clicking here so first thing you have to make sure that uh, you use the proper uh, launch template and in launch template you have to use the, your defined parameter so that is the uh, your AMI, PC, uh, key pair, security group, network related information here then uh, basically you must use the network properly and the load balancer information here and uh, in advanced section we have used the uh, user data configuration so this is all about how we can configure the auto scaling group and how uh, we can make a demonstration with the load balancer i hope you like this video please stay tuned for the next uh, more video thank you